everyone, welcome back to Score Center, the weekly show where we're going to go through my AFL footy tips. We've got the eBay top 10. This year it's a little bit different. I think you'll enjoy it. We've also got Scorey's mailbag. I'll be opening up a break from RGV Collectibles. And we also have a very special parcel from Jason Collectibles to open. I can't wait for that. We've also got the top pools of the week on the channel. And it's not scorecard if we're not opening up some packs. So we've got some footy stars, some NRL traders, and stop the press. We've got team coach to open. Let's just jump into it. Okay, here we are back again for round one footy tipping. The footy is back. The footy was back on Wednesday night with Melbourne taking on the doggies. Here we go. I'm 100%. I'm one for one. So very happy to say that my tipping record is currently 100%. Nice when the numbers are on your side. So I did uh, tip Demons by 12 points. They got up by 26. So it started off the year with a correct tip, which is a good way to start the year. And so we have Carlton v Richmond, which was the sort of traditional uh, season opener, uh, but we've gone now with the grand final replay, which I think is a great idea. Uh, we are going to go with Richmond here. I think that's a comfortable choice. Although I think the Blues will uh, perform better than they have for a while. So I think that will be a great game to watch. We've got the Pies v St Kilda. I'm going to go for the Pies. They are not the favourites here. 81% going for St Kilda. But I, I think the Pies can do it. I, th I think the Magpie Army can rise to the occasion, uh, despite last year. Geelong Essendon. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Now, Geelong are clearly the favorites here, but I'm feeling a Bombers, a Bombers victory here. I'm gonna go. Oh my now, GWS Sydney, ooh. Ooh, ooh, there's some, there's some great games coming up here. Uh, ooh, that's a flip of a coin. Oh my God, same Sydney. Just, like in a thriller. Ooh, that's good. Brisbane, Port. Ooh, yes. Well, it's hard to go past Brisbane at the Gabba on a Saturday night. Uh, ooh, Hawks, Roos. Oh, that's going to be a great game. Ooh, I think it's going to be a close one. My heart is saying North. My head is saying Hawks. Oh, and my head is winning out. Sorry, Bruce. Adelaide Frio and Adelaide. Remember last year when in round one, Adelaide defeated Geelong? To kick things off, and I think that was the first time in like 50 years that the Wooden Spooner defeated the team that had played the previous year's grand final. I guess we're not going to have that happen again if we're just having grand final replays. But yeah, that was a really crazy stat. But I don't think that's going to happen. Frio were not in last year's grand final, but and well, yes, yeah, it doesn't really matter. I, I don't think the Crows are going to win that. And then to finish off round one, we have Eagles, Suns. Ooh, this is another. Ooh, on paper, you would give it to Gold Coast. But the, ooh, the Eagles have so many players out. Ooh, but it's at home. Oh, oh. Oh, my gut saying Eagles. Even though they've got their backs to the wall. Well, the, the ones that are remaining have got their backs to the wall. Not that there's that many to have their backs against the wall, but I'm going to go with the Eagles. Oh, there you go. So that is our round one tips done. Kick things off with a, a Demon's victory. But now I've got Richmond, Pies, Essendon, Swans, Lions, Hawks, Frio, and Eagles. Let me know what you think of my tips. Scorey can be, I can either have like really great rounds and then really bad rounds. This could be a bad round, but it could be a great round. Who knows? Well, we'll find out on Sunday night. 
Okay, here we go with the eBay top 10, the first time for the year. So excited to get back to this. Intense spot for 900. We had the Mel Meninga Legends signature for this from this year's TLA and our traders. These are, of course, Redemptions. This was numbered 154 of 208. And there were two of the big, big pulls from this year's traders, the Meninga as well as the ET. So we will be continuing to open NRL cards all season long. So I am very, very hopeful that we are, hopefully luck is on our side and we can get one of those awesome cards. In number nine for 1027, we have, I think one of the first slabbed cards that we've seen in the top 10. And one of the first cigarette cards from back in the late 20s. So this is a Donald Bradman cigarette card from the 19, from 1929, uh, from WD and HO Wills, who were a tobacco company. And it was very common for tobacco companies to put trading cards in their cigarette boxes. Now this is a graded card. Uh, so it says cricket season 1928 to 29. This real photograph is one of a series of English and Australian cricketers. So it does have a grade of 42, very good. But yeah, it sold for 1027 for that beautiful piece of cricket memorabilia. In eighth spot for 1,120, we have this Gary Ablett unparalleled signature from 2006's Supreme. That's the redemption card. And then we've got the actual signature itself. It was numbered 89 of 100. That's absolutely beautiful. That's awesome. In seventh spot with 1,179, we have the Nat. Five Platinum Brownlow Booklet, which was from the 2019 Footy Stars. Those booklets, those Brownlow Medalist booklets, just absolutely stunning. Yeah, Nat 5, absolutely awesome. In sixth spot for 1,550, we've got the Dyson Heppel Influential from Certified 2017. That's awesome. In fifth spot, speaking of awesome, for 1,600, this Anthony Stevens Superstar Signature Patch from last year's Supremacy. That just looks absolutely stunning. 21 of 25 of the North Grey. Huge patch. They look sick. I love that. In fourth spot, we have for 1,750, the Sam Walsh Virtuoso Redemption, the Signature Redemption, numbered 4 of 60 from this year's Footy Stars Jumbo. Then in equal second place for 1,850, we have the Dusty version. This was numbered 36 of 60. Um, yeah. And then in equal for 1,850, we have another superstar signature patch, this time Isaac Heaney. These just look so stunning. So stunning, and I love that the patch has what looks like dirt marks on it. It's just awesome. We did get his, um, the little patch, the little patch uh, from one of our supremacy boxes, from what it looks like, that Guernsey. But yeah, the huge ones just look so specky with the beautiful auto. And in first, in first place for 2,135, we had a lot that featured 94, 95 and 95, 96 Futera cricket cards featuring quite a bunch of really great autos, including an Alan Border, medal, uh, Alan Border auto. Get your words right, Scory. Um, but the big, the big card out of the lot was the Shane Warne hat trick card. That's just stunning. We've seen that before, and obviously, since the absolutely devastating passing of Warney, which it still doesn't feel real to be completely honest. It's just, yeah, I can't really, yeah, put into words what that sort of means to so many. I'm sure. So, you know, all of you were just completely shocked and have so many wonderful, wonderful memories of him. But no doubt if you 
you know, take the emotion away from that. The Shane Warne signature cards are just going to go up in massive value. Um, you know, if you want to talk about the business side of that sort of stuff, which I kind of don't really want to so much when it's, you know, the death of somebody. But you know, that, that does actually have a genuine um, impact on how much cards are worth because there won't be any more shame on autos. Um, very, very sadly. And then if we look at the back of the card, it says the morning of December 29th, 1994 is yet another red letter day in Shane Warne's short but illustrious career at the MCG with his magical three ball spell. He removed to Freitas, Goff and Malcolm, ensuring Australia a certain victory. His bowling performance of three for 16 from 13 overs was outstanding and one wonders what will be next for the boy from BlackRock. Well, he's definitely going to go down. He'll be remembered forever. And yeah, I'm kind of getting emotional because, you know, he just means so much to so many of us. And wow, Warney, you will be so missed. And yeah. Whew. Okay, well, so this is a bit of an awkward transition from that emotional moment, but a new feature for this year's Score Center will be a top 10 international cards as well. So these are all from Australian eBay sellers. So they've all been sold by Australian sellers, um, but they are all international sports. So kicking things off in number 10 with 1,650 was this Trevor Lawrence Gold Zone Auto from Panini Score. That of course is a slabbed card, a 10 from SGC, 31 of 50. It's a very colorful card, really like that. In ninth spot for 1850, we have Jar Morant Jumbo Basketball Relic. That is a Apparently a game used basketball relic, which is absolutely sick. Could you imagine Sharon um, or Steeden game used ball relics? Well, there has been ball relics, I know, in true NRL Elite, although obviously I haven't been lucky enough to pick those up. Actually, I haven't seen those, so I'm not sure what they look like, but if they look like that, that would be absolutely sick. Um, in 8th spot for 2100 we have this Habib uh, Panini UFC Immaculate Auto and Relic number 30 of 48 that's really sick in 7th spot for 2401 dollars two absolute greats of world football or soccer Maradona and Batty Studer this uh, dual auto from Panini Immaculate in sixth spot for $2,999, we have the Steph Curry Rookie Auto from 2009-10 Panini Inscriptions. In fifth spot for $3,383, we have this Jar Morant Fresh Paint Auto from 2019-20 Court Kings. That looks awesome. I love the color of that. The auto looks great. Usually you have the auto on the bottom of the card, so it's actually really cool to see an auto at the top. Uh, that was a Beckett 9.5, and they uh, also graded the auto separately, and they gave that a 10. Yeah, love the color of that card. In fourth spot, for 5,100, we have this LeBron James Signature Shots card from 2007-8 Upper Decks Sweet Shot. That certainly takes me back when Upper Deck were making NBA cards. This was number two of 23, and I love that design. It looks like uh, the auto is on a basketball. It looks, but it almost, yeah, it looks almost leathery. It's a really great looking card. In third spot for 5,500, we have a Luca Rookie Auto from Panini Noir 1819. Looking very nice. In second spot for six grand, we have Trey Young, his Star Swatch signature from Panini Flawless. It's number two of just 10. And that, that patch or swatch just looks absolutely sick. That's clearly the, 
the jersey with the uh, the sewn in potentially number, potentially name of the team. That just looks, it's probably the, the number. That just looks so sick. I love that. And in first place, for a whopping 13,100, we have Ja Morant. He has featured quite prominently on this list. His Kaboom card from 1920 Crown Royale. Graded 9.5 Beckett. That's really incredible. You want a boom? You've got a boom. So this week in Scory's Mailbag, we have, direct from RGV Collectibles, the results of a two-case break of Jumbo Footy Stars. Now, it was a random team, and I ended up getting Port Adelaide. So, let's crack this open and see what we did pick up for our winnings. Ooh, there's uh, some good coming here, I think. We might pop the biggies off to the side. And then we've got, ooh, we've got a lot of, oh, we've got, oh, nice. Okay, let's go through these. We've got Robbie Gray, Sunset, Xavier Dursma, Sunset. We have Tom Clurry, 100 game milestone. Very cool. Uh, we've already got Mitch, so that's a double. Uh, we've got Todd Marshall. Oh, we've got Aaliyah, Aaliyah, 30 year anniversary. That's very, very, very cool. Big fan of that. Darcy Burn Jones, Sunset. Oh, an instant win. Okay. Ha, huh. that's cool. Nice. Uh, we've got Carl Eamon Ice. That's sweet. We've got Aaliyah, Aaliyah Sunset. I've got another Carl, so that's a double. Big Charlie Dixon Sunset. And we go over here, and we've got Orazio Fantasia Game Breakers. I reckon we're probably going to have the Game Breaker collection. Oh, that's very cute. Ollie Wines Ice Starburst. Looking very earnest. Oh, that's very sweet. Really like that. Uh, Big Charlie Dixon again. Charlie Dixon in the Game Breakers. Oh, Tom again. Tom. So that's another double. Ollie. Darcy, that's a repeat. Mitch, that's the third one I've got. And Scott Lysette, 30 year foil. Nice. We'll pop those off to the side and then check out these top loaded cards. We have a Midnight Zach Butters. That's sweet. And that's numbered 124. Very cool. We've got another number. Oh, we've got an Ollie Wines blank canvas. These look sweet. Nice. And we've only picked up the two blank canvases that we got from our jumbo box break. So this is only the third blank canvas we've picked up for the collection. That oh number nine. Sweet. Sweet. That's wicked. Nice. Oh, Ben. Oh, this is sick. I love the uh, the acid yellow fractures. They look so cool. The blues are nice, but the yellows are my favorite. We've got Xavier Dersma again, this time in the fractured yellow, and it's number 44. That's so cool. And oh, I've got Travis Boak, one of my favorites. That's sick. What's that numbered? 210. 210 or 250. That is so awesome. They are very uh, relatively plain cards, but I think they look really elegant. I um, was surprised that it didn't actually feel very canvassy. It just sort of looks like it. Um, but yes, it's quite a smooth finish to those. And our final pickup from the break from the lads at RGV is the Darcy Byrne Jones fractured. And that, 
is numbered 72. Okay, we've got another parcel to open and this time it is from the legend himself, Jason Collectibles. The OG, the absolutely incredible, look, let's be honest, if there wasn't a Jason Collectibles, there probably wouldn't be a scorecard. Absolute, incredible, incredible guy. Incredible content. He's been making incredible AFL card content for years and years. Let's check this out. Ooh, here we go. What have we got? Ooh, Dave, thank you for supporting my YouTube channel. You are an absolute legend. Or as Jason would say, bang, 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 bang. <laughs> That's awesome. We've got the washing instructions. Let's, we'll keep those so that we, uh, you know, don't shrink, don't shrink our uh, t-shirt. That is awesome. I will save that. That is very nice. It goes without saying, if you're not already subscribed to Jason, which I'm probably, you probably all are, but if you're the one person out there that's not, absolutely jump on his channel. He does absolutely incredible battle videos. He's had amazing luck to start the year and I'm sure it's gonna continue throughout the year. And he also does absolutely sick horror comparison videos. Absolutely awesome compilation horror videos. So if you're into your footy cards and you're into your horror as well, like me, then you can't really get better than Jason. That's so awesome. Let's get this cracked on open. Black, it's very appropriate. Let's see. We're gonna have any red as well. Oh, I can see a bit of red. Oh, look at this. I think you might know what this is now. Oh yeah, maybe the washing instructions gave it away. <laughs> but let's crack this open. Oh, look at that. It's the Jason Collectibles t-shirt, the merch. That is sick. Look at that. That is so good. The printing quality on that is absolutely superb. Now it's time for a bit of a fashion show. I've popped on the t-shirt. That looks awesome. Jason, you are an absolute legend. I am so proud to be wearing the Jason Collectibles merch. That is an absolutely sick logo. It's a sick t-shirt. Thank you so much for your amazing content. I know you have so many fans and we all love you. And yeah, that absolutely rocks. I wonder if there'll ever be any scorecard merchandise. Hmm. Let's now have a look at some of the hits of the week from the channel, as well as a couple of cards I've opened up off camera. And we picked this up from our Footy Stars regular V Jumbo video. And I'm a huge fan of the classifieds. I, when they were announced and we saw a pick of them, I was a bit unsure about them, but they have definitely grown to be one of my favorite inserts. We have actually pulled only two so far. We got the Nick Nat from our first box, then we got Gorney from our, uh, as I said last week's video. Really love this and great way to celebrate the Demons' grand final win and also their first win of the season. Then we picked this up. I opened up some starter packs on Instagram. I got it when the starter packs arrived in the mail. I just couldn't help myself and I just wanted to open up some starter packs and I'd already opened up one and didn't get anything crazy and then I was going to open up another one and I thought oh maybe I should just pull my phone out and just film this in case and you know if there's, any, if there's nothing great then I won't put the film up but this came out of the first pack I think it was the first or second pack our second premiership predictor of the year for the Saints. So I put this up. I don't think this is actually in the last week. I think this was like almost two weeks ago now, but that was for the Instagram people. I don't post much on Instagram. I'm very, very haphazard with my content, but I thought, look, I'll pop this up on Instagram as a thank you to all the people that follow my Instagram. Um, and, but yes, we're finally announcing it on the channel that I did pull a St. Kilda premiership predictor number 40. Um, and then in our Sunday morning video, we are opened up our NRL Trader starter packs. And this was 
such an awesome pull. The Roger Tuovasa Shek retirement card. Um, those are one every two boxes. So one every 72 packs. So we got that out of a starter pack. Huge fan of him. Really, really great player. Really lovely guy. And yeah, that's an awesome pickup. And then so off camera, I, uh, I picked up some footy stars from my local news agent and just couldn't help myself. I think I ripped open five packs and we've got this Toby Nankervis blue, uh, the Arctic blue fractured. They look so cool. Still think uh, the yellow is my favorite, but nonetheless, the blues are very cool. Um, yes. I do have a friend though who pulled a still side bottom. So if we haven't pulled the still by the end of the year, then I know where this is going to end up. And the final card for today, I uh, picked up some, I think it was 2020 Panini Chronicles. I am a huge fan of the Chronicles because I love variety in my card design. So Chronicles, if you don't know, is a Panini release where they have a whole bunch of different inserts from a whole bunch of their different properties. And this was a Justin Herbert Rookies playoff, um, but it's a it's a um, acetate, and I love acetate cards. I think they're really really awesome, and I think Justin Herbert is a pretty decent player to get one of these of. But yeah, that was a I was really happy with that. Okay, time to crack open some packs now. We can't do a scorecard collectibles video without opening up some packs. We've got three NRL traders to open. We've got two footy stars and a jumbo. So let's uh, have a look at the uh, traders first. Get zoomed on in so that we can see what we get. Nice up and close and hope for some fire scorecard. Scorecard, uh, score center has been very lucky for us. We've got a Josh Papali, Power Heroes. This is a newie and these are two every box. So that's very, very cool. I can't wait to put that together. There is a puzzle on the back. These are very, very cool. Big fan of those. Katoni Stags, Parallel, The Pearl, very nice. Okay, next packet. Oh, see, I was, I didn't even think. And that first that packet opened really well. And then I realized that I've been having trouble opening these. I overthought it. And had trouble, but not so. Okay, what are we gonna get from our second pack? Oh! <gasps> That's sick! We've got a Bunny's High Performance box here. That is crazy. Alex Johnson, Thomas Burgess, Damien Cook. Oh, that's a box hit and these look so sick. That and the green works so well. Oh, that is wicked! I was just saying, Score Center is very, very lucky. Box hit, Harry Grant. Awesome! Storm Parallel Pearl Special. Oh, that's sick. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Oh. Maybe I should just stop opening up cards and just open up everything on Score Center. Because we seem to get very lucky in this show. Okay, final pack for today. And of course, opening NRL cards every Sunday morning. Very exciting. Okay, we've got a Pearl, William Kennedy, for Cronulla. Is our final insert for our NRL traders. We go to our footy stars and see what we, uh, what luck awaits us for these. We go over there and I can put the base over there. That's what happens when you open up so many cards. Oh, awesome! Brittany Benici for the Pies AFLW. That's a newie and that looks sick. Oh, that looks so good. So, so good. Oh, Brainard, nice. And then our second and final regular pack. We've got a box hit 
from NRL. Can we get a box hit from the AFL? Oh, come on. No, but we do have a Dylan Moore game breaker. And I am such a huge fan of these now. I was not sure when it came out. Well, when the, the previous came out. But I actually really like these actually more than last year's Game Breakers. And I liked last, last year's Game Breakers very much. But for me, I actually really like these even more than last year's. So that is a very, very nice insert to pick up. Definitely new as well. Now our Jumbo Pack, what can we get? What can we get? Of course, the Virtuoso Sigs are the big, the biggies, but all sorts of spectacular. Well, Dusty's one of those signers. Other spectacular cards you can get as well. Would have been nice to have had the opportunity to get a buddy auto, but we're not. But we are picking up a 100 game milestone with Aiden Core from the Ruse. And I've got Oscar Allen. Looking very pumped. Just kicked a goal. Game breakers for the Eagles. So those, oh, just take us, nice, are our packs for our first score center back. Okay, stop the press. We just opened up our footy stars. We just opened up our NRL traders. We didn't have team coach a part of that because at the time of filming, we didn't have team coach. But look what's in my hand now. We of course have team coach. So it could not be score center without a team coach opening. We have three packets here. Let's see what we can get. We were very lucky last year with our packs on score center. Let's see what we can do. We've got big Charlie Dixon silver. We've got Caleb Daniel silver. And we've got a Took Miller, best and fairest for the Suns. And we've got Archie Perkins, that's a newie. We've got Liam Ryan, Will Day, Joel Soward, and Callum Mills. Those are new base cards, so that's nice. Absolutely nice. Oh, we maybe actually should open up the album. Didn't actually do that in the box break. We've got Kane Lambert Silver, Alicia Eva Silver, Oh, I've got a footy flips. Oh, I've got the North footy flips. I've got Ben Cunnington. Let me go. We've got Cam Zerha. Oh, that's that. Oh, that's Maynard. We've got Goldie taking it. Ah, oh, it's the Pyres again. We've got Nick Larky. This time against Adelaide. That's good. It wasn't all just the Pyres. Okay, footy flips. Who do we have here? Oh, got Josh Kennedy. We've got Cody Waitman, Ben Mackay, Isaac Rankin, oh, Jeremy Howe. How good is that? Our final pack for today, but of course, Saturday morning, we'll be cracking open some more Team Coach, and every Saturday morning we'll be cracking open Team Coach. Oh, we've got Jezza Silver. We've got Liam Baker, and... Oh, oh, Major Mitch. He's a bit of an army cat. Look at that, keep off our turf. Oh, there's a bit of a cat war going on there. That's very cute. And is that was, okay, yeah, that's the, the spotto ones where you're looking for those, all those little things that kind of, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. There's a lot of stuff going on with those. But I think they're very cute. Oh, Maynard, my Brainard. We've got our first Brainard of the year for Team Coach. Now he's looking very pumped there. That is a great base card. And then we've got Jack McRae. We did pick up his Team Star Powers. Zach Butters, Jaden Stevenson, and Elise Parker. Woof. That's a big score center done and dusted for tonight. Next week, we'll be back on our regular night of Thursday. Of course, we are on Friday tonight because Team Coach came out on Thursday. It's kind of a bigger, slightly bigger deal than the score center episode. 
But yeah, next week, more of my AFL tips for round two. We are doing the eBay top 10, the scoring mailbag, our pack openings, and of course, team coach, Saturday morning, NRL traders, Sunday morning, footy stars, Tuesday Arvo. Until next time, stay cool, take care. My name is Dave, this is Scorecard Collectibles, and I can't wait for you to join me next time.